Jonathan Kovac in Timmins, Ontario. We are only broadcasting on the Timmins Captain's Casing Weather Highlights Facebook group for now until Mother Nature begins the inclement weather or the significant weather. We'll sneak this over towards the Timmins Captain's Casing Weather Warnings page. So 24 hours ago, Environment Canada put out a weather statement for Captain's Casing Hearst and Timmins Cochrane. By the dinner hour, Timmins Cochrane, you have no alerts. You're in good shape. The special weather statement has since dropped after it was combined for a couple of hours with the snowfall warning, which is still there, which means, believe it or not, if you're reading this text box, yes, two days of 20 to 30 centimeters of snow with gusty winds of 60 kilometers an hour, beginning Thursday morning going on into Saturday. So Thursday, Friday, Capus Casing Hurst, we're watching out for you. Moosonee, snowfall warning in effect for you. Because you're on the inner edge, of the low pressure system, you could see similar criteria to what Capus Casing Hurst could experience. And I will have a forecast map for you in just a moment. Eight o'clock in the morning, high broken clouds over Northeast Ontario, but look at the convective clouds over Kentucky, Tennessee, right over the Canada US international border, halfway up the Great Lakes with this cone shaped cloud cover, also known as classic comma shape as it spins backwards. It's sitting right over St. Paul, Minnesota. Barometer, we're just below the healthy level, which is okay. The faster the barometer drops, the faster the winds pick up. So we're gusting 20 or sustained 20 gusts to 40 kilometers an hour in Northeast Ontario. By the dinner hour, the peak wind gusts to Timmins Capus Casing, 27 knots or 50 kilometers an hour. It's there, folks. Frontal boundary stretches us up right across the Great Lakes. The cloud cover with this cone shaped cloud cover swings back from Southern Ontario all the way back to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Overcast here at home. The barometer is still falling, but it's going to take a bit of a break as the low pressure stalls itself and there's not much change in energy with the low pressure system itself. By eight o'clock, the precipitation is on the way. You can see some higher cloud tops with the green clouds over here. Frontal boundary pushes on over, stretches itself over to Southern Ontario. And there's the frontal boundary, which mixes the warm and cool air together. Mixed precip for here at home. I'll show you that in a moment. Winds just below 50 Ks an hour and the barometer is falling once again indicating that the low pressure system is getting a little bit closer to home. Put the satellite picture in motion of where the clouds coming from going to. There's that winding pattern right over St. Paul, Minnesota. There's a cloud cover spinning backwards and moving northeastward towards here at home. That's the morning look at the satellite picture. The evening edition looks to be just about the same thing, but this patch of cloud cover indicates that precip that's on the way. The cloud cover, it looks like it's breaking up for Southern Ontario. We're not too worried about that right now, but there could be one wave after another depending on how long the slow pressure system wants to stick around northeast Ontario. First look at the rainfall and snowfall. Blue is snow. That's going to swing over towards Moosonee, we think. We'll keep an eye on the pattern. Embedded moderate precip. Widespread band of rain indicated by the green shade here, stretching from Highway 11 all the way westbound towards Shaplo and Wawa. 11.30, around that time stamp, around that area. Rain-snow mix. And from Matheson, Ontario, the first location this spring to see a thunderstorm reported just after 11.30 this evening. Before we say goodbye, we're running out of time. This is your Thursday morning forecast map. If you're tuning into this 12 hours later, the least amount of snowfall are both Moosonee and Timmins. One, two, three centimeters between Cochrane, Iroquois Falls, Matheson. Further up Highway 11, you get into heavier snowfall. We'll keep an eye on the development of these weather conditions for Thursday morning. Stay tuned. Thank you.